Hey guys, here's part two of my DIY sump that I have part one already posted. Here's part two, and I've got it all hooked up and running, of course. So you'll see here's the sump, and here is my protein skimmer. This is a Bubble Mages Curve 5, and I also have a filter sock in the back, and I'm also using a Bubble Mages filter sock holder and you can see my one and a half inch return line there in the back. The uh, initial baffle here which is specified in part one of this video is 10 inches high and it worked out perfect for this protein skimmer. Okay over here I have my media compartment here and I have a uh, sock for carbon and another sock for phosgard. And then you'll see over on the right hand side is my refugium and I got some cheta and I got some live uh, rock back there and I also have my heater in the back. I don't know if you can see that but down below the uh, cheto is my heater. It's an Aquion 200 watt heater and uh, I chose that one because it's encased in plastic so it's going to be less prone to breakage. did have to fit it diagonally so it will fit in there properly. Let me give you a different angle here. Okay, so here's the right hand side of my sump. And there you'll see the heater in the bottom, live rock, the chato. And then over here is my return section. So I have my return pump here. This is a Rio 6HF. And I think it provides about 200, I'm sorry, 350 gallons per hour and that works out just perfect for my 34 gallon reef tank. In the back you'll see I have two flow switches one for the normal position right here and one for the high level and I have an apex that's hooked up to this so it'll read these float switch settings here. Right now my water level is low because I hooked up a chiller recently and it pulled out some of the water into the plumbing lines don't have it fully running yet but I have this return pump right here that pulls water out from the return section of the sump up through the pump this is an Eheim uh, 2000 line going out to my chiller and this is a line returning back from the chiller into the refugium this is the best way that I could figure out to make this work without uh, causing too much turbulence within the sump because I didn't want to bring the return line back into the protein skimmer section because I didn't want to disturb the water flow where I have the protein skimmer running. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Hope uh, you found this video to be helpful and uh, please be sure to subscribe, ask comments, questions about this setup, would be happy to help out and also like my video. Alright, and then here's a quick little glimpse of my reef tank and so be sure to subscribe I'm going to post a video showing my reef tank with uh, all my corals and fish that I've got in there. Thanks. Bye.